Oh. Well, not intentional. It'll be a no ball. It'll be four buys. It'll be six to the total. Clearly trying to bowl a York, he just gets it wrong. It's a little bit more than wrong. What can happen when the batsman at the other end is just putting you under that much pressure? You know you've got to be right on the money. The batsman at the other end, you know, has got a reputation for hitting the ball. He's been doing it already. You know your York has got to be spot on. No, that's going to hurt, that's going to hurt. Double time because it will race away for four. It's another no ball. This is a very, very expensive start to the over. He got his Yorker in, he did that bit right. Front foot no ball, look at that. That's one of the better Yorkers we've seen. Manages to force a mistake, but unlucky, unluckily it goes for four. Now Styrus has a free hit. What a way to get to 50. 52 will do, thank you very much. A stunning innings from Scott Styris. Well, if we thought Matt Pryor was going hard, Scott Styris has just lit up over here. Fifty of twenty-four balls. Yes, it's a free hit, it's a low full toss. Never the easiest to hit. Not for Scott Styrus. Out the ground. Yeah, someone get the ball and bring it back. He's only bowled two balls technically this over and he's gone for 18. Sorry, he's only bowled one ball. Correction, yeah. Just one ball has cost 18. Captain is all around him. Why not? Trying to calm him down. Never know what to say as a captain here. Matt Pryor did this to Mark Davies, our opening bowler. He went six, six, four, six, six, and then you don't really know what to say. The only thing I could do was laugh, really. And Davo bowls about 68 miles an hour at the best of times. So I just thought it'd be quite funny to see how far he could hit a bouncer from him. Just that change up, he managed to get it away for one run. Now, has this gone out of the park as well? Yes, it has. Fetch that one as well. Well, I said they'd be trying to nudge 200. Didn't think they'd be trying to nudge 200 in this over. This is just what the pressure does to you. He's trying to get his Yorkers in. He's trying to keep it simple, and that is almost baseball. Deep in the crease. Home run. A few deep breaths, young man. Only two balls bowled. You've got another four to go. And up against Scott Styrus, who's 58 from 25. Field is changing again. Deep square now goes out, deep cover comes up, so lots of cover on the leg side. Oh no, 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 it's not what he needed. It was beautifully played in the end, he did make the angles and the room for himself. Yeah, he gave himself some room, he's almost running away to square leg here. All the field is back, every man on the leg side is out. There's only one place he can bowl it, he does that. A little bit of finesse there from Starris as he cuts the ball away past third man. 28 off just three balls. Good, very good.
a rare dot. Staris had a chance there to hit that over for more than any other over has been hit for in well, any form of cricket or 2020 cricket. intended but it will be another boundary it's another four for styrus it's 32 now with one ball to go when it's not your day you try and get the yorkers in it doesn't work you're bowling no balls you then go for back of a length styrus misses it this time but it gets enough of a top edge to get it away for another boundary here we go take that has not gone for four it's gone for six it's an incredible over it is 38 runs from the fuller over incredible stuff here 38 off the over and as far as Richard knows that is the most that has ever been taken off an over in professional cricket, is that fair? And this is the pick of them. Length. All sails away. Well, it's great entertainment for the crowd. Young James Fuller, take a few big deep breaths. The evening he'll remember kindly, fondly rather, particularly, well, he'll hope his side can get home from here.